When I was diagnosed with advanced prostate cancer, giving me perhaps 10 years to live, it did feel like things were falling apart. Give it here. Give it here. OK. But just because conventional medicine doesn't have a cure, I refuse to believe I'm out of options. There are many stories on the internet of cancer patients who say their lives have been saved by cannabis. Like Darren Blackwell, who was just days from death at the age of 14. The doctors had done all they could. His mum, who'd been giving him cannabis oil for the pain, boosted the dose. And Darren made a sudden recovery. Hello, Darren. Hello. I'm Bill. Nice to meet you. Nice How are you? I'm good, good to meet you. Hello, Hello. Kelly. How are you? Nice to see you. Five years later, he's still fit and well. I was bones and flesh and, but also, and nothing else. There was barely any blood in me. Yeah. So the cannabis gave you a good path to death. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But then you didn't die. Yeah. yeah. That was the difficult part. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because? Uh, because I wanted to die. So the dying part was easy. You just have to relax and get, like, deal with that. Yeah, I, I had accepted it. The crucial question is, to what extent you feel that cannabis kept you alive? 90%. 90%. I was gone mentally, just walking around like a zombie. And then I came back and I recovered really quickly. It was really strange. It kick-started my immune system and my bone marrow. It helped do something to it. There's no doubt about it that the addition of the cannabis helped. Darren's story fills me with hope. But while he's convinced that cannabis saved him, there's no medical proof. So to discuss the science of it, I'm meeting Dr Peter McCormick, one of the top cancer scientists in the UK. So what's the difference between cancerous cells and regular cells? Yes, so cancerous cells start to grow uncontrollably and become a large mass. And they don't respond to the stop-grow signals that normally come from the body. So basically, these cells are not getting the message from management that they should be dying. Correct. Or they're just not, li <laughs> they're willfully not listening. Correct. OK, so how do you make them listen? Ah, well, you try to identify what makes those cells unique versus a healthy cell and put in what we call a silver bullet to try and kill those cells. And what's the closest you've come to the silver bullet? In this case, we're studying cannabinoid receptors. Cannabinoid is a small molecule naturally occurring in cannabis sativas. Cannabinoid receptors you can think of as radio transmitters of cells. And what we've discovered is that uh, one of these cannabinoid receptors is higher expressed in cancer cells. So there's more of it in a cancer cell than a healthy cell. And we're trying to take advantage of that imbalance to kill off and tell that cancer cell stop growing. So if you put the right kind of cannabinoids into that Petri dish there, it'll kill them off. Correct, that's correct. What about in my case? I've got advanced prostate cancer metastasized. It's in the bone. Yeah, so we've done some work on prostate cancers. And it looks like, in certain cases, you can get prostate cancers which will respond to cannabinoid therapy.